So welcome to I Feel Mythologist. Um, so today, what I'm what I'm gonna I'm gonna discuss before I launch into into doing this modification for this holy carp, I want to do a little a small comparison between the Weber carp and the holy carp and some aspects of their tunability, uh, or ease or not ease of tunability. So. What I'm going to do here, as I've discussed in, in a previous video, basically I'm going to put a larger base plate on this, yeah, on this carb. So therefore that means that this will have, this will be the original, the original base plate. It goes like so, yeah, it goes like this. So this will be the original one, this fits perfectly, and this one fits um, this one will, will require me to do some machining work on the body, basically. Now, <clears throat> and one of the, and, and this is what I want to show you, because all of this area, the boosters and, and this area, will remain the same. Now, let me show you what this looks like on a Weber cup. So, if I can just take it like this. So this is the aspect of tunability of the Weber cup that you can take this which is the the choke which will be the equivalent of this and this which is an auxiliary venturi which will be the equivalent here and in a holy cup in a sorry Weber cup it's really very easy to do you just pop a different one in here um, Sorry, you have to put it in a certain way because it has There you go. So let's try this again. Here it is, the guiding. Yeah, so you put a different one in here. There you go. And the observant jury. There you go. And you put a different one. So this is now in the in the holy carb, you can still get some tunability. So I could change the boosters with this. This is a, this is a different style of booster that is for higher flow, and I can still do it, but it is more complicated, and I need special tools. So whilst the holy carb, it would be much difficult to change the choke and the auxiliary venturi funnily enough what i'm tr what i'm trying to do here i.e putting a bigger base plate on this is relatively easier to do than in a weber cup why because in a weber cup doing this modification that i'm trying that i'm trying to do at the moment in order for me to do this in a weber cup what would happen is that i would have to make this hole here larger <coughs> and the problem with that is that if i show you here inevitably the, the the progression holes from the from the carb they would they would disappear so therefore that's why it's very complicated to make this change in a, in a, in a weber carb because you would have to recreate <coughs> recreate the progression holes uh, <coughs> which can be a bit difficult. So now I'm going to show you some close-ups of uh, what we're going to do with the holy with this holy carb in particular. But first, I wanted to just give you an introduction, uh, comparing it with a Weber carb and showing you what are the bits that we are trying to modify or not modify. So as we start here. The first thing we have to do is get a correct gasket for a 750 CFM base plate, uh, which this one is. Um, the things you need to look out for in a gasket are obviously that all the holes that need communication from the main body to the base plate are open. That means that it is compatible. So therefore, now what, we, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this same gasket right now into the main body of the 600 CFM carb. Now, let me just set it 
and I'll try to set this as much as I can, like so. And basically what we need to make sure, which in this case it does, is that this hole, this hole, these two, this one, this one and this one, they are, they are correct and this one as well because this is this is this is a passage for here so evidently the if 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 we look at it from from purely from gasket matching point of view the gasket matches perfectly so really the only thing that i need to do let me just put it here so it's, it's coming off a bit so the only thing i need to do really is to shave off the the metal bits that are kind of superfluous if you want from the gasket with a 45 degree uh, cut so now what i need to do is i need to put the base plate back here and mark it all up so now and welcome to air fuel frustration the place thingy where we fix carbs and whatnot so, as you can see, I'm getting ready to do the um, the machining work on this carb. And I've got this uh, lovely, unprecise Chinese filler drill, uh, which is which is obviously more helpful than having the proper, uh, proper equipment, obviously. So I've been spending quite a lot of time in terms of setting this up properly so that we have level on kind of XY plane uh, and now what I need to do is I need to start presenting this tool um, so that is absolutely dead center with the ball and I start making kind of the first cuts so I'll show you that in a moment okay I think I've got the machine more or less aligned now so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make the cut to the predetermined line that I've already marked here you probably can't see it from there but there is there is a very definite line mark there and what I do is I generally go very slow the drill is down to 310 rpm very slow very little pressure that I'm gonna apply here to this piece to try and I'm gonna do like a like a very initial cut to make sure it's concentric and then I'll make some further cuts.
happy with that. Uh, now it is important that you don't go over the line that is marked uh, because if not it will create a problem. So the only thing that, that I have to do now is go through all the other ones can let loose the vice and start doing all the other ones. So hopefully now you can see the finished article, which is that the that the throats of the carp are blended kind of much better into the into the, the new throttle plate. But there is still a little bit of a step, and that's okay. It has to be this way so that it allows kind of the gasket to sit properly, and there is no leakage from the gasket. So I think this is uh, pretty much ready to go uh, and it's going to allow the carb to breathe uh, much better out of out of the new throttle plate